Good evening and welcome back once again. Hopefully you joined us last time where we had a 2-1 win at home against Ibar. Let's jump into the team lineup to see how we're going to get on against Leganes. And for the lineup today we have brought in Caulfield at left back just to give Teixeira a bit of a rest. Arcas is going to continue in midfield because he's got the flashing up which means he's improving a lot quicker. Other than that it's pretty much a full strength lineup. And we're back in it again today. I've had a bit of time off from the game and from gaming in general, to be honest. I've been playing a bit of Hitman 3 on and off, but not too much. Um, just a lot been going on at work and sort of other life stuff, and I just haven't been feeling it. So gave it a bit of a break. Um, but, you know, want to get back into it now. I am hoping to uh, maybe record a bit of a mix of, of games Obviously, I've been recording pairs, PGA Tour now and again. Been doing the Resident Evil 4 series. I'm pretty certain I'm going to do a series on the remake of Resident Evil 4. Whether I'll do that straight away when it comes out or give it a bit of a bit of time, I'm not sure. Definitely want to do some more Hitman videos. Interested to see what the new... Um, I was going to say Tiger Woods game, but it's not. What the new EA PGA... Uh, golf game is going to be like um, I've got mixed feelings on it yeah, so we'll have to wait and see it's not out at the moment, it's out in March as I'm recording this, it's only sort of the middle of it, uh, February I'm hoping it's going to be good anyway, back into the match Arcas losing it there, they're playing pretty deep at the moment and uh, it's a bit scrappy Here's Mudrick. And he's in again. Oh, how's he missed? How has Perez missed that? Well, that's going to be one of the worst misses I've had in a while. <laughs> Terrible. He was being pressured slightly by the defender, but that's no excuse. Yeah, but I suppose the conflicting news I got... When I first saw the trailer for the, the uh, EA Golf game, I didn't look that impressive, to be honest. It looked a bit clunky, and considering it was like a showcase highlights, you know, trailer, I thought it would look more impressive than the game would. So that's a bit concerning. Um, and then there was a... Oops, I've just given it away there. And then there was, I think, a Q&A with one of the devs. Um, someone high up in that's been involved in the development anyway and there was a few things that sounded good um, but one of the negatives was that it's going to be locked to 30 FPS on consoles which is a bit of a strange one considering golf's a fairly static game um, but when you're actually going to swing you know you need well, we'll have to wait and see what it looks like, but you want that to be as fluid as possible to look like, otherwise your actual swing can be affected. So it's a bit of a strange one. That's a shocking ball. But there's no reason that a modern console, a PS5 or an Xbox, should be locked to 30 FPS. But anyway, I'm pretty certain I'll get it at some stage, whether I'll... I'm certainly not pre-ordering it. I was going to. I was thinking of it. But after seeing that, I'm really going to have to wait, I think, to see what it looks like when it comes out. Hit edge. Oh, decent effort. Probably been too busy talking about other games. Instead of concentrating on... Uh, actually trying to score... Decent ball there to Perez. Oh, ho, 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 what a finish. Wow. That was a really nice goal. Nice ball from Xerxes here. Perfectly weighted. Defence was pretty shocking. But first time finish. I'm sure I just saw the goalkeeper's arm disappear into the floor for watch that again. Is 
I can't see from there. Absolutely lovely finish. But apart from the Resident Evil 4 remake and the golf game that I may get, there's not too many other games that I'm really excited for coming out or that I can think of. That's not a bad thing because, uh, Rudrick, oof. I've got too many games to be playing anyway. I've got so many games that I've bought on Steam over the years, like on sales and stuff. I've got stuff on the PlayStation I haven't played or I need to get back into. So the fact that there's not a massive amount of games coming out that's catching my eye is probably a good thing. No idea when Starfield's going to come out yet. Again, obviously that's not on the PlayStation, which I am gutted about. I've got a gaming laptop, but I'm not sure whether that's going to be strong enough to play it in, you know, as well as it should be. I, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. And I don't really fancy buying an Xbox just for that. Oh, what a finish from Mudrick. Slid it round the key bit. Certainly uh, one of the stars of the se season, even though he only joined in January. Oh, look at that finish. And me saying about not buying an Xbox, I'm not negative against Xbox or anything like that. I've mainly played PlayStation my whole life, and I do prefer it. I've, I had an Xbox 360 um, when that came out, and, you know, had a good time with it for a while, but when the PlayStation 3 came out, went to that. And I, I don't know, it's just like, I think sometimes you just have a feel for certain consoles, don't you? Um, I'm certainly not one of those like, oh, Xbox is rubbish. I think it's a brilliant console, got some great games, and I, I might be tempted to get a, an Xbox, not just for Starfield, but you know, there's a, plenty of other good games on there. Um, but you know, I don't know if I want to do that, spend all that money. You know, I'm not made of money or anything. I can I can afford it, but. Um, Oh, nice cross there, and plus, like I say, I buy, I, you know, I buy games when I'm on when they're on sale and stuff, and I've got so many games to be playing. If I've got another console, and then I'm buying games for that as well, and then don't, you know, I don't have a massive amount of free time to be playing all of these games. I do procrastinate a lot as well, you know. I'll, I'll I think a lot of people do this, but you know, I'll go play a game and I'm like I don't even know what I'm in the mood to play or especially if I'm recording it's a lot more effort I can't just relax and play it you know um Arcas oh, good save Perez can he keep it he can't Fabio Vieira Vieira Zixi and it's half time, 2 0. Stats wise, wow, 71%. That's even high for us. Seven shots, five on target. Opposition were just not in the match at all. Yeah, but anyway, Starfield's probably, like I say, whether I get an Xbox or not, that's probably the only one I can see on the sort of horizon that I'd really be interested in. And I hope it does well. I really hope it's good. You know, it's already got delayed once. Um, maybe even more, I don't know, but it was supposed to be due out the first half this year. It doesn't look like it's going to be. Um, but, you know, Bethesda could surprise us. I hope it's a really, really good game. I hope it um, sells well if it is. I hope it's not like a buggy mess or anything. I hope it, it's not. I think Fallout 76 was not as poor as some people made out, but, again, it wasn't a game for me. I much prefer the single player versions of, of Fallout um, and I agree that it wasn't up to Bethesda's new sort of normal quality um, and by quality I mean the quality of the game not bugs and things like that because Bethesda games quite often have kind of bugs bugs at launch, good save there but there's, there's jokes about you know Bethesda games always having bugs but um, yeah I hope it does well, and I will think about buying it 
again depending on two things whether my gaming laptop can run it if it can I'll buy it on there if it doesn't I'll have to seriously consider getting an Xbox well cleared Ah, oh, it's a free kick though But yeah, let me know in the comments below, you know, is there any big up and coming games that you're looking forward to? Anything that I've missed that is on your sort of wish list um, or you think would be a good, a good buy in the future? I just can't think of any off the top of my head. Good block there. And punched out. Probably could have tried to catch that, I would think. But, uh... Oh, lovely ball from Paris to Mudrick here. Oh, what a team goal that was. A beautiful ball out to Mudrick, who does so well to keep a hold of the ball before the uh, attackers get back into play. Cuts inside. Plays it at Perez, who honestly could have had a shot here, but plays in Xerxes and a wonderful finish. Certainly back on form in this game, which um, I'm surprised that with me having a quite a while not playing it. Going to make some subs now, though. So we're going to make all three changes. Rice coming on for Vieira, Harrington for Xerxes and Bajer for Carlos Perez. And we're actually going to put Arcas up top for that role. And uh, Harrington can go in the attack midfielder role. So the one player that's been a little bit missing in this game is being Vieira, who's gone off now. It hasn't been his usual sort of running the midfield. It's been mostly played in the wide areas and bypassed him a little bit. And that does happen in some games. You can't have all players being involved all the time. tackle on Harrington there he hasn't quite got the the footwork to get uh, to, to dribble around those players but it's a nice ball out to Bajer and here's the youngster McDowell decent ball it's a little bit a little bit too loopy a bit too high and they're uh, trying to play the way out the back Good header though from the defender. Good pressure there. But they still managed to win it. Nice play from Mudrick there. McDowell, I think mukdal has been very good at right back since he's come in. He's been very solid, dependable. He's um, got forward a few times as well in this season, which our wing backs are really that's a foul. Our wing backs are really there just for defensive purposes. They don't contribute too much in attack, just because of the quality we have or lack of in those areas. We tend to sit them back a bit and just let the wingers do the work. In time, if we improve those by quite a bit, I think we will start to push them up more if we get some really good quality wing backs. But at the moment, I'm quite happy for them to just be mainly defensive. Seeing that, Mukhtel just got forward there. Oof, that's got to be a foul, surely. Rice somehow manages to keep that ball. Ah, the ball was a little bit sloppy by Mudrick, a little bit too close to defend it. Did well to win a throw out of that. Of 
Can't find any space at the minute. There is now, though. Here's Caulfield. Good ball. Oh, my goodness. How's he missed that? Well, it was Perez in the first half. And now... I think that was Bajer on the back stick. His replacement, he's missed the setter as well. Wow. Good tack off. Wow. Say that and it's foul. Still think it was a good challenge. Don't need to see replay. I wish we didn't see replays for every single foul. Fair enough the ones where it's a yellow or red or for like a penalty, but not for every single uh, little challenge that uh, goes punished. Oh, for God's sake, that's not a foul. Thank you. Bajer. What a ball that is for Mudrik. Ah, tried to cut inside and that doesn't work very often. Even with the skillful players using the square then X to fake the shot. It works now and again, but I don't know why I keep trying it. That's probably going to be it. Nice header though. Poor pass. It's a shame, could have had a uh, counter-attack there. But there it is, full-time, very convincing 3-0 win. Good all-round performance. Possession was a little bit low in the second half, but still with over, well, nearly 65% of possession. Brilliant stuff. And ratings-wise, pretty much what I said, Vieira a little bit off the pace, but the other front players did really well. Circus so man of the match, I wouldn't say that's uh, that's wrong. I think they all did well, and subs did pretty well when they came on as well. Just dependable without being completely outstanding. But that's it for this week, guys. We're now 20 points ahead in the league. We've got a match at home against Ibiza. That's the third of three matches in the space of uh, six or seven days. So there'll be some tired legs. And then we've got a week's break. So that'll be good. But if you can join me next time, drop a comment down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And think about subscribing to the channel as well. But I'll see you then. Cheers.